Everybody, I'm Nashville guitarist Johnny Highland, and I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee at the beautiful Studio 19 with my buddy Steve Hardesty and my buddy Kyle in behind the mixing board. And today we are here to talk to you about the brand new scaled down version of the Origin FX Cali 76. Folks, I got to tell you, I just recently got turned on to this bad boy, and it has become one of my go to favorite pedals. And, uh, as most of you know, chicken pickers rely on a compressor. Why? Because with our amp tone being so clean, we really don't have any distortion pedals or anything to hide behind, so our compressor is really our go-to uh, pedal that we use mostly to even out all of our notes. So this little guy becomes a, quite a handy pedal to chicken pickers. So what I figured I would do is I already have one of these on my pedal board but I wanted to give you an unboxing of this beautiful pedal. So we're going to start and crack this puppy open. Let's just grab it here. And as you can see, it comes in a really nice, well-packed box with, with uh, some foam inside. So we'll go ahead and pull the foam out, and ta-da! There it is. The beautiful pedal sitting in the bottom here. So I'm going to just reach in here and pull this little guy out. That's what it looks like, folks. Man, what a beautiful pedal. It's actually just a little bit longer than an average kind of pedal, um, but it's about as wide as your standard pedal, so it won't take up much real estate on your board. Is it awesome? Yeah, folks, it's actually the best compressor I've ever used in my life, and I'm so proud to have this Cali 76 pedal on all three of my pedal boards. So I'm going to grab my beautiful Ernie Ball Music Man Axis Sport, and I'm just going to show you, essentially, how I like to set the Cali 76. So what I have here is a basic chicken pick and tone. We're on the bridge pickup of my guitar, and it gives you a really nice chicken pick and spank tone. <laughs> Here, folks, I have it pretty spanky, um, but at the same time, guys, I have set the Cali 76 basically by hearing the pedal and not really looking at the knobs. You know, it's really great that way when you can plug in a pedal and set the tone of it just by hearing what it does for you. So, as you can hear, I have a nice chicken picking, real spanky tone on the bridge pickup, and it just sounds so full and crisp. But I like a compressor that's going to be real transparent. I don't like to hear a lot of squeeze. But and this pedal does that really well. killer pedal folks man so now I'll tell you what guys when it comes to playing some Western swing and you get into running your neck pickup well you know some compressors sound really great when you're playing the bridge pickup and you set that tone to where it's right but usually with a lot of other compressors what you have to do is reset your compressor to actually match uh, the tone of your neck pickup well with the Cali 76 I don't have to do that check this out <laughs> So it just sounds so nice. Now guys, let me just say this as well. Most compressors on the market, 
And let me tell you folks, I've had just about every one of them that's on the market today. Most compressors, when you plug them in, the main problem is that a lot of them actually change your tone, which you really don't want to have happen. They color your tone, I guess, is a better way of putting it. And also, when you, when you crank up a compressor, you lose a lot of the bottom end of your, of your tone. Well, guys, as you can hear from my playing so far, there's no loss of tone, there's no coloration of tone, and there's no loss of bottom end. I have not changed the positioning of any amp knob since we started this video. And I'm just amazed at how much of my bass response I actually have. It just sounds so wonderful, guys. I'll tell you, it's just an amazing compressor. So what I'd like to do now is kick on a little bit of dirt and show you what this bad girl sounds like when you actually add some distortion to it. So what I'm doing now, guys, is adding my uh, Johnny Highland Signature Grumble Box made by Metal Pedals. And uh, it's just showing you that the Cali 76 will work really well when you add a distortion pedal. Now, my buddy Lance down in Austin, Texas, did a video where he used amp distortion. Well, in my video, I'm going to use pedal distortion just to show you that the Cali 76 will work well with other pedals. So here is what I like to use for a distortion tone. Check this out. <laughs> Now guys, I'll tell you what, I only have really four pedals going here. I have the Cali 76, my grumble box, a reverb pedal, and a noise reducer. I love using the ISP decimator when it comes to taking out the noise, and I think anytime you use a compressor and a distortion pedal together, you need that. But you know, with the Cali 76 guys, I'm just amazed that the Cali 76 did not change the actual tone of what my distortion pedal is supposed to sound like. And it was certainly that way for Lance, too, when he was doing his video in Austin, Texas. Guys, it just goes to show you that the importance of a compressor is definitely there with a lot of guitar players, especially myself. And to see a pedal of this nature come out that actually matches the tone of an original 1176 that costs thousands of dollars, guys, this pedal's not going to cost you thousands of dollars. And the fact is, you have the tone right at your feet to, uh, to just have the most warmest, transparent, most beautiful compression you've ever had. Guys, I'm so amazed to have the Cali 76 on my board, and I want to actually now take this opportunity and show you what the guitar will sound like when we change the settings up a little bit and show you some of the uh, settings that the book offers you to show different ways you can set your Cali 76. And then we're going to switch and show you what it sounds like with humbuckers. So I'll be right back. Okay, folks, now that you've seen how I like to set the Cali 76, we've actually grabbed the booklet that comes with the pedal, and we're going to showcase exactly the tones that they offer uh, from the settings in the pamphlet. So I've had my buddy Steve uh, actually set the pedal to the first picture on the back page of your pamphlet. So I'm going to have Steve come over and show you what that actually looks like. I think I can do it like this, Johnny. There you go. Okay, folks. Uh, I'm kind of holding the camera and doing this at the same time, so bear with me. But we're going to. Well, Johnny's got his pedal set now with the dry all the way down to zero, the out all the way to what I would call three o'clock, and the in set at three o'clock. He has the ratio turned all the way down, the attack turned all the way down and the release turned all the way up. And that is called, in your booklet, Percussive and Lively. Oh, Percussive and Lively. Well, guys, let me show you what that actually sounds like. Folks, is it percussive? It feels really good under the fingers. Um, what an amazing setting. So that just goes to show you guys, as, as you can hear, there's really not much attack there. And it's very transparent when it comes to the compression itself, but the release is actually giving it a tighter feel. Very percussive and very lively. 
Okay, folks, now we're from the back page of the pamphlet. Now we're going to actually go to the second picture, and this is actually set to a dynamic tone, right, Steve? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to have Brother Steve show you where the settings are to match that in your pamphlet. If you look at your pedal, uh, starting with your dry knob, it's turned all the way down to zero. The output knob is turned to what I would call three o'clock. The input knob is at three o'clock. The ratio knob is at 12 o'clock with your attack knob at two o'clock and your release knob at 11 o'clock. Now folks, I like to showcase this tone with some really pretty chords. So check this out. I'm going to go to the second position now. Wow, guys, that feels really nice under the fingers as well. Okay, folks, I'm going to actually have Steve show you the next one now, which is actually uh, referred to as parallel compression, which is the best of both worlds. All three of the top three knobs, the dry, the output, and the input, are all at 3 o'clock. The ratio setting and the attack setting and the release setting are all setting at what I would call about 2 o'clock. All right, guys, here goes the best of both worlds. Actually, we'll try this on the bridge pickup and see what we think. Now guys, I gotta be honest, this setting right here is probably most likely what I would use in the studio to get the best chicken picking tone while in the studio. You know, there's one thing to say that you're gonna set the compression, your compression pedal for a live gig, and then it's different when you set it in the studio. Live, I would actually use more of the percussive kind of sound, and in the studio, I would want, you know, this paralleled compression sound, best of both worlds kind of thing. All right, folks, actually what I want to do uh, to finish before we totally close is show you that the Cali 76, even with this paralleled uh, compression setting from your pamphlet, no matter where you have the Cali 76 set, it works even more killer with humbuckers. Now, guys, sometimes when you're a player like myself where you're switching from single coils to humbuckers, then you kind of have to change your whole compression setting. Well, not with the Cali 76. Let me show you what it sounds like still set on the paralleled compression setting from your pamphlet. All I've done now is just added my uh, Johnny Highland Grumble Box, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Actually, that sounds killer. I had to add a little delay in there too, but my goodness, what an awesome, awesome compressor, guys. All right, folks, now I want to showcase what this Cali 76 will sound like with just a touch of distortion, and I'm going to haul out my big heart slide here and give you a taste of some slide guitar just to show you how well the Cali 76 will help your gain actually, uh, will help out your gain actually with more sustain. So let me just kind of show you what this sounds like.
folks, that's some sustain right there, man. Well, folks, I'll tell you what, I've had such a wonderful time making this video for you on the awesome new scaled down version of the Cali 76 by Origin Effects. Guys, I want to take this opportunity and thank uh, Brother Steve Hardesty, who's been a longtime friend, great guitar player, and he runs SNS Pro Audio. Steve, thank you, buddy, for all your help. Also, I want to thank everybody here at Studio 19, Brother Kyle. You're awesome, pal. Thanks for doing this with me. And if you guys ever make it to Nashville, anyone that's watching this video and you need a great studio, contact the folks at Studio 19. And, folks, I need to thank Simon and everybody from Origin Effects over in the UK for just adding some wonderful, wonderful compression tones to my rig and sound. It's just uh, blessed my life thoroughly, and I'm so grateful. So, Simon, cheers to you, buddy. God bless you. And folks, I'll tell you what, I strongly encourage you and recommend that you contact Origin Effects and get the brand spanking new Cali 76 compression pedal today. When you contact Simon, tell him that Johnny Highland sent you. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear it. So cheers, God bless, and uh, I'll be seeing you real soon. I'm going to play to get on out of here. God bless. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.